welcome back to Girls Gone Style. It's been another crazy fashion week, so crazy in fact, that Farron and I could not find time to film together. But don't worry, we've also been working on putting together some really great fashion week coverage for you. In the meantime, we got an email from Vicki in Texas who wrote, I have been in the travel business for a long time and I would love for you to do a segment on travel and packing. Everyone is looking for the perfect way to look great on a trip, but to fit it into one suitcase. Well, Vicki, your timing is perfect because Farron is busy preparing for her trip to see the European collections, and she's going to show us the proper way to pack. t-shirt and all of a sudden you're ready to go out to a club or a really nice restaurant or in my case a very fancy fashion show. You're gonna do it the same way that you did the dress, lie it flat. I know your mom probably told you to roll your clothes but don't listen. This is the only way to back. So if you treat your computer like it's a family member, as I do in the vlogging world, you need to make sure that it's protected. You can carry it in a really ugly, really big, really bulky laptop case or you can put it in this nice cushy layer of all of your clothes. And you just wait to pack everything up on top of it. So check it out. You guys remember this dress, don't you? It's so coming with me to Europe. Um, okay, flat. Okay, next we've got this vintage dress. This is coming. Nice thing about big prints, you don't need jewelry because the dress does everything for you. Um, this is my new Marc Jacobs slip dress. I wore it to a party yesterday and an editor in Vogue told me it was beautiful, so I feel like I should definitely take it to Europe. Okay, ready? Here's how it's all gonna go down. You take the edges of everything, pack all of this up into a neat little bunch. I know it looks a little bit like a mess and you're freaking out, but I promise when you open it up, it's gonna be the easiest thing in the world to unpack and you're gonna know where everything is. All right, so this is pretty painless. You're probably saying, Farron, you're still going shopping in Europe. This is not gonna hold all the stuff that you buy. But aha, I have a plan. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a nylon bag. Um, this one works great. It's a long chomp, folds up really nicely. Don't put anything in it. Just lay it flat on the top of your suitcase. I have this extra compartment here. If you don't, it's okay. Just put it on top of everything else.
And when you get to Topshop or wherever it is, Colette, that you're gonna buy fabulous stuff, you know that you're gonna still be able to bring it home just in a different bag. It's a pretty sweet solution. Be brave. Don't think you're gonna need tons of stuff, because you don't. You need what you like and what you feel good in, and chances are that's only eight or nine pieces of clothing anyway. Well, that's certainly a new way of packing. We wish Farron bon voyage, and you should be sure to check fashionista.com and teenvogue.com every day to read up on Farron's coverage of the European show. And as for you guys, once again, if you're going to any shows, send us your photos, send us your stories, and we'll be sure to feature them on the show. We'll see you next week. Bye.